Hello, uh, just thought I'd do a bit of a quick video and have a play with the contrast paints and have a look at what else we could do for the plate armour, specifically for the Wars of the Roses um, and these lovely Perry Foot Knights. Uh, those of you that watched my previous videos know that all I've done for my armour so far is I've just used the Bazilla Canum Grey. I've done that straight over a grey sear base uh, and they come out looking a bit like this, which is how I've done pretty much everything I've got. Um, I don't mind the look, it's sort of a halfway effort towards a non-metallic metal look. Um, however, it does leave them looking a bit cartoony, in my opinion. So I thought we'd just have a bit of a play and see what other effects we could get using different base coats. So what I've done, I've base coated one with the grey sear and I've done another one and he's just been base coated with the GW uh, silver spray that my friend has kindly lent me, I forget the name. Um, so I just thought I'd do Bazilla Canum Grey over both of these and you can see how I've been doing it and then what kind of effect we get on this one. Uh, and then I've also assembled and sprayed another two guys with these and I thought we'd just put some different colours over them and see what kind of effects we get. I don't mind having different colour armours in my army. Armour would be, you know, different grades. You'd have, you know, cheap stuff, expensive stuff, well-maintained stuff, battle damage stuff, you know, all sorts from all over Europe. So, you know, a bit of variety isn't a bad thing. Um, I'm not going to bother painting any other parts of them. We'll just have a look at the armour and see what we can get. Right, okay, let's just get started. I'm just going to use a decent sized brush and I'm just going to apply this stuff straight from the bottle. I'm just going to paint it straight on. And I'm curious to see what kind of effect this will have. I have played around a little bit. Um, but I was looking at speed and I just thought I'd stick to one technique to begin with. Say as well, it's scorching hot today, so these might dry very, very, very fast. So I'm just trying to get them on as quick as possible. Okay, let's put them on this guy in the end with his big spiky thing. does go on, can we can already see the difference. Okay, here we are. We'll just leave those to dry and we'll see what we have. Well, as expected, that took about 30 seconds to try and here's the result. So you can already see quite clearly there's a complete difference in the shades. Uh, this one is quite lighter and uh, they say it's slightly washed out. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, it's quite hard, isn't it? I mean, to be honest, I like them both. Um, the This is the metallic one. You can still see some of the highlights of the metal coming through. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily have to do a dry brush on that to bring that out. You could maybe just do some small scratches with uh, like a chrome color or just a lighter silver, maybe something like this. Um, maybe get some you know variation there, maybe on the rivets. The only difference with this is as this is the the contrast painting method or whatever it's called you would have to try and avoid all of these straps and buckles um with the spray 
Uh, so you'd have to repaint them afterwards with the single pots that Games Workshop brings out, because that defeats otherwise that defeats the point of doing the contrast painting. Um, so you might as well just paint these all, you know, one colour yourself. However, if you're like me and you're happy to sort of like combine methods, then I think that's come out quite nicely. Um, so let's have a let's have a play with these two over here. Um, I think we'll do one with the black Templar. I think everyone's probably seen these that lovely sort of black. I think the I think it's German armor um, that you get for Wars of the Roses and just well in the, in the medieval period. And then we'll go a bit funny. We'll put some brown <laughs> over another one, uh, and we'll see how that comes out. So let's just put the Black Templar on. Let's just see how that that changes on this guy here. Okay, it's already a lot darker. Duh. And say as well just how much I do like these Perry kits. The variation that you get with them, and you get 40 models, one of which you can build as Richard III if you want to, or just you can make him any any lord. I will be as I'm doing Yorkis, I will be doing Richard III, but he will actually be the Duke of Gloucester because I'm basing my force around the Battle of Towton. So when his brother is uh, fighting to become king, Edward the Fourth. Okay, this that one will do there. And let's use the uh, Gore Grunt of Fur, I think, on this other one, and see if we see if we get something horrendous or if we get something with a bit of a, a tarnish to it. I might just be respraying this straight afterwards. Okay, that's not as stark as I thought it was going to be. go so again I'm just gonna finish off here put them in the oven that is my back garden and uh, I'll see you again in a few minutes while I'm waiting for those to dry I thought I might just show you some of what I've been experimenting uh, with flesh uh, here is what the flesh tone the Gilliman flesh looks like going straight over the grey sear um, I mean there's nothing particularly wrong with that it gives you a good foundation it, it, it's flesh you know there's not a lot of variation um they they look very bit malnourished maybe a bit cold um but i thought i'd just see if using a slightly warmer shade would change that so i used pallid witch flesh which is got a slight yellow tint to it which i don't know if that's going to come through too well in the video um but afterwards i did it on this bowman this chappy here and ah uh, there we go. There we go. So I'm quite pleased with how this one has come out. Now this this guy's face was probably took me about two minutes. So that's a pallid witch flesh base uh, on his on all the flesh areas, and then a Gilliman flesh 50/50 mix over it. Uh, then Gilliman flesh mixed with um, one of the darker browns I forget which one it is now I think it was wildwood uh, just for the recesses and then I went back with some pallid witch flesh and just highlighted parts of the top of the cheek and the nose and did the eyes all in all that still didn't really take very long um, certainly didn't take as long as say where is he oh up here uh, something like this um, which is uh, well, this is this is uh, Lord Ponsonby this is for my uh, command base for my union brigade um, so I spent a lot more time doing his face 
um, and you have faces of everybody else on there that are doing traditional, you know, <laughs> flesh tone, wash, highlight, second highlight, third highlight, um, and then eyes. Um, but for a uh, for a trooper, I don't think that's too bad at all. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I might try and do some flesh stuff on maybe on these nights that I'm just doing afterwards, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, right, I'm going to see if these guys are dry. Okay, and here we are. So I've just put them all onto one stick. It's, it's so hot that uh, my blue tag is is melting. Um, so here we are. So as you can see, this chap at the end here. That was just a Basilicanum grey straight over the grey sear base. And I say that's what I've been doing so far for pretty much everything. Um, so I say I still still like it, um, but it does look a bit cartoony. I can't think of the <laughs> phrase I'd use for it, but yes, a bit cartoony. Um, then the next one we did uh, was this fella here. This is um, just the Basilic Hand and Grey, same paint, but over a metallic base. Which one is Lead Belcher? That's what it's called, Lead Belcher. Um, all of these three were sprayed with Lead Belcher. That is the Basilic Hand and Grey. This fella here is the Black Templar, so you have got a slightly darker, richer tone. And this guy on the end, I'm actually really impressed with, is the Gorgon to Fur. That's, that's come out really nice with a sort of bronzed armour. I quite like that. I was planning on doing sort of a bronzing or, or golden armor for some of my commanders or unit leaders. So that's that's come out really nice. Um, all in all, I'm I'm fairly happy with all three. All three, four of these. Um, I think that once they're mixed in with unit, when you've got about twenty other guys all with varying tones, it would look look quite good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you prefer it on a metallic base or do you think just over the grey sear looks good? Um, and just let me know what you think. If you'd like to see anything to do with that flesh, if you'd actually want me to sort of put a video together about that, just let me know. Otherwise, um, I hope you're all inside with some air conditioning. So uh, enjoy what's left of your, your weekends, or, or your, well, it's, bang, it's Monday, and uh, I will see you all soon. Cheers.